Rona Pumbizai, welcome to Know Your Warrior uh, on Next Level Sports. Could you please tell us a bit about yourself? Uh, well, I think uh, Ronald, uh, I'm married to graduate Rusige and I'm blessed with a baby girl, Megan Pumbizai. Wow. Yeah. Where were you born? Highfield. Highfield? Yeah. In Harare? Harare. Okay, where did you go to school? Sungai Primary. Where is Tsungai? I feel it. It's an I feel it. And it's uh, a three high school. Okay. It's Tsungiza. All right. Yes. Where did you start playing soccer? Uh, I think, like, uh, take it serious. I think uh, when I was staying in Tsungiza, I started playing for Eagles Juniors. I think for under 16. And from there, there's this coach who, who took me to Shirezi, Ipo Valley, Takushariwa. Yeah, I think to me, he's, uh, he's my father when it comes to football. He's the one who nurtured me to, to, hear him, to where I am now, like today. Okay. I respect him. Okay. Yeah. So, which position did you start off with? You, were you always playing the current position you're playing for the Warriors? No, no, no. I was playing like as a left winger. Okay. Yeah. And, but that, that, that man, he started playing me as a left back from there until now. Okay. But uh, here and there, sometimes I play as a center back at my club. All right. Yeah. Now, when did you start playing uh, professional soccer? I think I started playing, like, let's say, Division 1 in 2012. 2011, sorry, in Ipo Valley. Yeah, 2011, 2012, Ipo Valley. Then I came to Caps United uh, 2013. Yeah. Then I went to Denmark. I think 2015, I went and played for six months. Then I came back. Yeah. How did it feel to play for the Great Machine? Yeah, yeah, it's a big club, you see. One of the big three clubs in Zimbabwe. So, uh, like, everyone wished to play for those big big teams, you see. So, uh, uh, if you get a chance, you might just give, grab that chance and take it, like what I did. And uh, I, I, I keep on, like, I, I grew up supporting Caps United, even my father. You see, so I respect that team, and uh, I always wish them well. Yeah. Now tell me about the Harare derby uh, against uh, the Glamour Boys Dynamo Football Club. Any memories of that uh, clash? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, good memories and uh, sad memories. You see, mm -hmm. obviously, when you if you lose the derby, uh, I think if, let's say that week, it will be like a month. You see. Yeah. You won't walk around in town, but if you win, like when you beat them, like in 20, 2016, when you won the league, yeah, yeah. we beat them 1 0 in Rufaro. It was like a, that day, like we won the league, you see. So when you play a derby game, it's going to be like a World Cup final. Yeah. Okay. Now, when you got uh, your first uh, call up for, for the Warriors, uh, how did you feel to know that? I could represent Zimbabwe. I think, you see, like I started representing Zimbabwe, I think I was a bit young, you see, and uh, I, I couldn't believe it, like it's me. You know, like from Norway, just say, uh, you're playing for a national team, you see. We've got a lot of players in Zimbabwe and like, in, in, like all around the world, you see, but to be selected, I think, uh, it's, uh, we just have to, we, everyone just have to thank God if you get a chance to, to represent your country, yeah. Now, what does uh, Fumbizai do when he's not playing soccer? Uh, like, let's say like nowadays, when I'm not playing, I will be with my, my daughter, yeah, or sometimes with my dogs, <laughs> playing with my dogs. Oh, you have dogs? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so you take them for walks? And yeah, 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 okay. true, yeah. And you go jogging with your dogs? Yeah, oh, they are, my, 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 they are my, my best friends. <laughs> Now, I noticed you've got some tattoos uh, yeah. on your arms. Uh, yeah. Do they have a meaning? Uh, when did you put on your first tattoo? Yeah, yeah. Like, th like this one. You see, like this one. Mm -hmm. it's, it's Megan. Return Megan. It's my daughter's name. Okay. Yeah, and this one, I've got two here. It's a roses. Okay. Put them for my, for, for my love. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright. Yeah. And I see you've got... Yeah, the other ones are just like roses. This is a rose. Oh, so yeah. okay. Yeah. All right. 
Now, now that you've been in camp with the Warriors, um, I want to hear your opinion about who is who in, 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 in the Warriors camp right now. Uh, who do you think is the fastest player in, in the Warriors squad? Uh, I think it's Chao Piwa. Chao Piwa. Yeah, I think Talent. so. Talent. Okay. Yeah. Who do you think is the best dribbler? Oh, it's tricky. Uh, what maybe, let's say, karma, knowledge, you see, so it's tricky. Yeah. Okay. Who do you think is the funniest player? <laughs> yeah. Tricky question again. For me, uh, Ed Mosban. <laughs> Ed Mosban. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think he's the toughest warrior? Hey! Marshall Minutes. Marshall Minutes. Yes. Okay. What do you think is the smartest? Darren Swag. Hey! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> ah! King Kama is there. Mm -hmm. Chojola is there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and Evans is there. Yeah. Now, who do you think in Dan Lavapo in squad? Oh, obvious. Played his man. No two ways. No two ways. Mm, obvious. You know. <laughs> you know yourself. No, I don't. Ah. <laughs> obvious of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think you're the 10th player to say of it. <laughs> uh, now, I'm going to ask you uh, your opinion. Uh, I just have to choose one. All right. Uh, Nike or Adidas? Adidas. Benz or BMW? Benz. Liverpool or Man United? Uh, Liverpool. Sierra 7 or Messi? Obvious. Sierra. Sierra 7. Jose or Pep Guardiola? Uh, Jose. Jose? Yeah. Sadza or Rice? Uh, rice. Chicken or beef? Chicken. Jombo or Pata Pata? <laughs> uh, Pata Pata. <laughs> Over or suit? Yeah, I was suit. Suit, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Zupko or Kombi? Yeah, Kombi. Kombi Bo. Kombi Bo. Yeah. Now, tell us a bit about uh, Coach Sunday and how he has influenced you and his coaching style. I think uh, he's a good uh, coach, and I think we, all of us, there's no pressure. He always tells us, like, do. Like what you are capable of, you see, it doesn't like give us too many instructions. Like you go there inside the field, like loading too many too many stuff. You see, you just go there, you just give you the guidelines. You see, I want you guys to play this and this, but you know, when you are there, at some point you just have to improvise. You see, so there's no pressure playing under Sunday. I do not lie, and I think it always motivate us. You see, yeah. Now, what's your favorite music genre? I uh, me, I got two. Zim Danso and Mse. Zim Danso and Mse? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because Zim Danso, who's your favorite? Yeah, it's tricky. You know, like Zim Danso, it's tricky to choose because this one will come and you, you, you maybe three, four songs, then it's gone, you see? Mm -hmm. Next month, it's another one, you see? Okay, so we, who's the latest? Who's got uh, the, with the song that you listen to the most? Oh, yes. Pop 10. Ali? Pop 10. Pop 10? Yeah. Give us one line from Pop 10. <laughs> Coming from a place where most people think we don't own TVs. Easy. Yeah, that one. What do you mean, sir? Yeah. Yeah. You want me to, go to, to continue? Yeah, continue. Okay, ah, that one, I can go. <laughs> <laughs> Coming from a place where most people think we don't own TVs. Hey. Office to office, teaching got in the red and I'm a CVs. Oh yeah, all I ever wanted was freedom. <laughs> ah, that's why, yeah, that's yeah, why, yeah, that's yeah, why. Yeah, yeah. Now, who's your favorite all-time uh, player for the national team? Legend, Rago. Yeah, I think it's Peter, the one I, I watched playing. Mm. Okay, mm. why? Because I think I can't mention others because on, I watched Peter. I think, uh, like when he was about to retire, I think, yeah. Okay. Mm. Now, you, you are now playing in the big leagues, playing for the national team. What would you say to young 
boys and girls out there who also want to play for for the national team and play uh, overseas, uh, what would you advise them? I think they just have to to focus and they stay away from like bad stuff, you see, like drugs, and they, they just have to listen to their parents. Yeah. Ronald Fumiza, thank you very much uh, for your time. All the best in your career. Anytime, boss.